Hello and welcome back and today I want to tell you guys how to run your Steam library games from a QNAP NAS. Now in the next few weeks I am going to cover multiple NAS devices but today I'm going to focus on the QNAP and real brief why a person should run their Steam library from a NAS. Now in brief a lot of the problems with Steam libraries is don't get me wrong Steam is one of the best gaming platforms out there but in order to enjoy your games you do need to have fast media. Now Two terabytes of storage may seem quite a lot of space, but with modern games weighing in when you include all the DLC and the patches, you know, 50, 100, 200 or more gigabytes of space for some of these games, and I'm talking about your modern games in 2019 and 2020, the result is that a lot of your games that you purchase, you're probably not going to download unless you need them which on the face of it seems fine. Why would you download a game and not going to play it? Well, one of the many reasons is to do with licensing conflict and content removal. Just because you buy a game on Steam doesn't mean it's always going to be there. And if the people that own, you know, have produced the game or the licensee related to the game, and again, we're talking about your Disney's, your Marvels, your Act, um, Activisions, your old licenses and new, games can get pulled. And even if you've purchased the game, it doesn't guarantee that you will still have it if they pull the game. And loads of people have purchased games that within a year or two, they can no longer access. And then you've lost that content forever. So in many cases, it's worth just making sure that you keep hold of the game on your local machine. Now, two terabytes, again, will get used up quickly. What's an alternative? A NAS. And that's why I want to talk about running Steam games off a NAS today. Because although hard drives are slower than SSDs, once you have four or more hard drives in an array, not only will you have a stupendous amount of storage, but on top of that, the combined speed of those hard drives in the right RAID array, and I'm talking about your RAID zeros, RAID 1, RAID 5, you will get speeds that are the same as, if not greater, than SSDs. And not just because of hard drives and SSDs, but with the affordability of 10 gigabit Ethernet solutions in 2019 and 2020, the result is that you can create an off-site, no, no, an off-site, an off-system NAS device that is connected via 10 gigabit Ethernet, 5 gigabit Ethernet, or 2.5 gigabit Ethernet, and populate it with two, three, or four hard drives, and it will still cost less overall capacity versus capacity than SSD. And you will be able to have your entire Steam library on a NAS device accessible when you choose. And with the advent of accessories such as 5GBE to USB adapters and Thunderbolt to 10GBE adapters covering both kinds of Ethernet, the result is that you can buy very affordable NAS devices such as this one that's got three hard drive bays, three SSD bays and 10 gigabit ethernet for 350 quid. You can populate that gradually or fully with hard drives or SSDs and effectively create a long-term storage solution for your Steam library. But let's talk about how to set up a Steam library on a NAS. So once you've got your NAS set up, in this case a QNAP NAS, what you need to do is head over to File Station. Now, presumably you've already set up your RAID array in advance. That is, you've got all of your hard drives combined together for one large area of storage. The next thing you need to do is create a shared folder. So click here and click Shared Folder. From here, create a folder called Steam. This folder called Steam is where your library is going to live. Where it's going to live on the NAS, that's that big um, RAID storage array you created. And you can uh, change security credentials and who can access it, as well as recycling bins and snapshots to keep long-term data storage in mind, as well as encryption too. Then you click Create. Luckily, I've created this shared folder already. Now, within this shared folder that you create, create another folder by clicking here, and create a new folder, call it wherever you want. I'm going to call it Steam Library. Once you've done this, you've now created the area on your NAS for your Steam games. Next, head over to the Steam program. Oh, actually, before you do that, head over to the QFinder Pro application. Now, QFinder Pro is an application you should have installed 
when you first set up your QNAP NAS. It's the tool for accessing your NAS. Your NAS. It's completely free and it allows you conf to configure a bunch of those tools and a bunch of the IP stuff and credentials of the NAS. What you need to do next is right click and select Map Network Drive. If you've already logged in, it will skip the login screen. If you haven't, it will invite you to log into your NAS. Once you've logged into the NAS, it will list every shared folder on your NAS. Find the folder that you created earlier, in this case, Steam. Then map that network drive. Give it a letter. In my case, I'm going to give it the letter S for Steam. Then click Finish. It will now add the NAS to your PC or Mac system as another drive. There's your C drive, which is traditionally an SSD, and there's our NAS. Close that window and now open Steam. From here, go to the top option once you've logged into your Steam account and go to Settings. And then from here, go to Downloads and then Steam Library Folders. This will list where games are downloaded to and run from on your host system when playing games. Click Add Library Folder. And then from here, at the top bar, click the arrow and then find your network drive, in this case, S. It will then find the mapped network drive you created. Then click Steam Library to add that library and click Select. It will take a few extra seconds and now it's added this new folder. Make sure this folder is the default for your Steam Library. You can tell if it is, because it will say yes in the default bar. You can always right click and change it manually if you so choose. Then click close. From this point onwards, if you purchase any new games, these games will be moved over to your new Steam library. Alternatively, you can just copy and paste from the original Steam library into that NAS Steam library there. This works for all games that you purchase moving forward and when you do run a game, it will then use the resources from the NAS as storage rather than your local system. Now, there's a few things to remember. One, if you are utilizing your NAS over standard one gigabit ethernet, performance will vary. So I strongly recommend that you upgrade utilizing some of those adapters to utilize five gigabit ethernet or 10 gigabit ethernet as needed. It's also worth highlighting that it does make a big difference the RAID volume you choose, with RAID 1 being suitable for two drives, RAID 0 being pretty much any number of drives you want, and RAID 5 requiring at least three drives. But this has been how to set up your Steam library on a NAS. If you do have any questions, let me know below. I would have done a performance test here on this PC to show you, but unfortunately, because of OBS here running in the background, performance would be terrible. I am going to be doing some performance tests of games on um, a much more enabled and GPU powered uh, PC system to show you this in effect. But for now, I'm going to wrap things up and move over to another video about Synology, Acer Store or TerraMaster for a Steam library. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful or have a question, let me know below. But otherwise, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.